it's Claire from Diamond Painting Nerd and I'm so excited to start this this photo this painting should I say not photo so excited I forgot my words so <clears throat> I am taking part in the DIY DP event that is being run by Kitting Up Kitten on YouTube and um, I have converted a photo to a cross stitch pattern um, and I've loaded that into Pattern Keeper. Now if you use Pattern Keeper um, there are certain features that are not going to work um, such as finding all of the same symbols, searching for a symbol um, but it will track my progress so I can mark off the sections I've done um, and so I'm not going to have an issue with trying to work out how much percentage wise that I've done because it is a custom one and it's not one that I've imported from say Heaven and Earth Designs it doesn't recognise the pattern um, and I'm cool with that um, it just means that I can digitally keep an eye on my progress so I have my uh, the first part of my canvas here um, so I have four of these and i printed these a3 there is a separate video showing you how um to do this the one that i showed you on the video the double-sided tape didn't work out quite as well um i had a bit of a nightmare it always happens when you film um but this is uh the other three were absolutely fine so um this is one of them so because my pattern is a portrait um i've worked out that four of these are going to be enough so my width needs to be 200 drills wide and then 266 long so if i do it this way i end up using four if i started off this way i'd end up using a lot more so um this will be one full sheet and then the other one i'll attach on um once this one is finished so for now i'm going to start in this top corner but i have the cover sheets on so there's two a4 um double-sided uh tape sheets on the canvas at the moment so i'm just going to lift the backing um if i can i did it nice and easily on the other ones here we are and i have actually given it another press down just to make sure it fully sticks now i'm going to cover my background with cover paper um because it's going to make it a lot easier for me um than fighting with that plastic so I'm just going to go ahead and add these sheets. There we are. Um, the challenge is to complete six squares a day. So that's 600 drills. Um, but I'll just see how I get on today. I might do more than that. Um, who knows? Um, but yes, so my canvas is now prepped. Now, I don't have enough drills to complete this at the moment. Um, but I have enough to get me started, which is the main thing. So I'm doing something completely different as well because I am starting um, my, sorry, not starting. Uh, my drills are in um, symbol order. Um, I normally work on numbers. Ignore these because these stay on the boxes. I normally work in numbers, um, but that's not going to work out for me with this um, with this painting. So I've got to do what I've got to do um, and work with the symbols and the numbers and the letters. So it is what it is. So we'll see how we get on. So my canvas is now prepped um, and I am ready to get started. I'm going to try and avoid too much glare um, on this if I can and also just being careful that my um, drill pots aren't encroaching on my canvas so let's get started so I have my iPad here not iPad this is just a cheapy Android one um, because it doesn't work um, on iOS unfortunately let me zoom out a little bit um, and I'm just going to follow the pattern on here so um, I have a, a left arrow so I put all of the ones that all of the arrows in together um, so all of the lefts in together all of the rights in together I just seem to make a bit more sense now, there's a lot of arrows on um, this um, on the legend which may may get a little confusing so we'll see how we get on so it is a square diamond painting of course um, and because it's double-sided tape it is not going to be as forgiving if I don't lay my drill down straight so yeah wish me luck so 
This one is going to go here. And then we've got one of his friends next to him. See, that was a bit wonky already. I'll get my tweezers out so I can maybe just adjust it slightly. There's a little bit of give in it, so that's fine. And uh, let's just add a bit more wax in. It might help me. Okay, so hopefully you can see this okay. So we have... We have one, two, oh, we've got it all going all the way down to the bottom and then we've got miss one and then there's one there. Now, I'm not accustomed to doing, oh, I'm not accustomed to doing um, squares as much as I am rounds. So, yeah, this is going to be a learning curve for me for sure. A bit shaky so I don't want to lay the drill down wonky and I think the other square painting I'm working on at the moment is a diamond art club one so it's poured glue oh that does actually move off quite well oh just not just get it off quickly I suppose and then what I'll do with it uh, this is I will then put a brayer over it to make sure that these are nicely stuck down so we have one more here and then we have uh one here and so i'm going to mark them off on the ipad not i call it ipad you know what i mean on the tablet as i go no i don't want to select all unfinished so i've done that one that one that one um oops didn't need to do that. I've done those. I've done that. Okay, well, let me zoom in and then move this in shot for you as well. Clear that. <clears throat> Let's zoom in to the section that I'm doing. I think a good amount is six on screen-ish. Okay, so I've done all of those. That one those two that one and not that one that one so i'm going to tick just so i can keep a track of um where i've done i'm trying to get it on screen for you but it's just got so much glare and i don't have a lot of a lot of room to be able to show you so i'm going to actually let me pop that up on this box um there we are Hopefully there's not much glare then. Okay, so I have another one ready. So this one is going to go miss one and then one there. And then one there. And then miss one and one. So I'm recording this on... Monday the 1st of May, which in the UK is a bank holiday, so it's a public holiday today. Um, we have one on the, um, we have one on the 1st of May, uh, sorry, the first Monday um, in May. And we have one on the last Monday in May as well. Um, but this year, because it's the coronation, we also have one next Monday, so we have no work. Um, so this was going to be perfect for me to be able to sit and do a little bit of diamond painting. Now, I'm making an absolute hash of this. I'm not pressing the diamonds down too hard, purely because I want a little bit of... Um, opportunity to be able to wiggle them in place because I know um, I'm a perfectionist and I'm going to be uber upset if they're wonky so so let's tick those two off as done and then we have 
another one here so the dogs are uh, the dogs are in the living room having a little snooze so if you hear the snoring in the background uh, that'll be my Labrador because she snores like a trooper and um, the other one doesn't really snore she snores every now and then um, but yeah they're having a good old a good old snooze in there and hubby's out washing the cars so he's going to be nice and quiet for the next few hours okay so that's those done i'm probably being really tentative about um how quickly i'm marking these off purely because this is the first time that i've worked um with a blank canvas without symbols um and so i just want to make sure that i'm putting them um in the right place and not messing up okay so on this row here we've got that one and then we missed one and then we put one there so let me know have you done any um have you done any conversion project i know one of the popular ones is the um heaven and earth designs cross stitch conversions um but i I really wanted to do my own photo, um, hence why um, I can't use all of the features of Pattern Keeper because it doesn't recognise the format, which is slightly annoying. And I also had to spend quite a long time adding grids so it could at least pick up each of the grids on the papers um because it didn't even it didn't even recognize that which was super annoying as well okay so let me mark these off because i'm going to get a little confused so there's one there's one there too so i did that one oops that one and that one and that one that one that one that one not that one and i did the one two three there let's mark those Okay, so I've got um, next one. God, I'm so confused already. So we have this one here and then this one, there's one right there. Yeah, let me know if you've done a um, conversion project um, before. This is, I mean, I was going to get a blank canvas um to do it on but i left it i left it too late um because this was a very this was a very last minute decision that i was actually going to do um a custom for the month of may so it's my own fault but um i have a large format printer um at home which enables me to print a3 which helps a little um and then I could do it on A4. I would just have more um, more sheets to have to um, stick back together. So ha only having to do four, connect four of them. Um, I'm hoping that's going to help me slightly. And I've lost a drill, but I cannot afford to lose a drill because I am really thin on the ground for a lot of these drills. I have no idea where that just went, but I'm sure it'll turn up. Right. So we have this one here. And this one here. So I was sat, I was sat last night trying to do an inventory of the drills that I have. I've said in um, other videos, actually videos that are coming up, um, there's some lovely ladies on Facebook that are sending me some of their spare drills. So I'm going to have some of them accounted for. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an order from Smith's Beads for anything that I need a bulk amount of that I don't have. Um, equally, if you have any spares that you wish to 
forward on, um, then feel free to drop me an email down below. My email address is down below. And I will let you know what colours that I need. But yeah, I'm hoping that I can just pick them up over the month and then I'll be good. Okay, so let's mark off those, that one, that one, and a tick. And I'm hoping that I've caught all of those. I, I hope. We'll see. We'll see by the time I get to the end. Okay, so that was the first arrow. Yeah, lots of arrows, lots of triangles. So then we have a upwards one. This is actually going to take quite a lot of these drills. So what I did is I purchased 200 of each drill from, um, it was an art dot. Um, it was from art dot on Amazon. Um, so at least I had some of every colour to get me started. Um, so that's all I wanted really. Um, so what I didn't want to do is get to the first square um, and not have drills to be able to complete it. But yeah, looking at this symbol it would show that actually I'm going to need quite a few of these in the early part of this painting so I think I'm going to need to get on and get those drills sorted earlier rather than later okay so I've got one two three four five done and then I've got one over here and we have, oh, that fills that one in nicely. There we go, that clicks in. Just love the click of the uh, square drills. You know, it's fitting together nicely then. Okay, so then we've got uh, that one and that one. So these two go underneath. And I hope that you're seeing this okay. I know I'm trying to show you the iPad as well. Um. Not the iPad, but, you know, it's not an iPad. That's not an iPad. Um, okay, that one goes in there, I think. So that one. And if I go wrong, then I'm sure someone will be screaming at me right now. That one goes in there. Let's tick those. Then we have one down here, which goes there. And then, oh, that's it, okay. So that's it for that color. And I dropped a drill, where's it gone? No, I can't afford to lose a drill. Okay, so that's that one done. Then we have N. So I'll grab the ends out, and again, I've just got 200 of this color, so gotta go, gotta go steady, gotta get these drills sorted because there's a load of N over here. So this is one I'm definitely gonna have to get sorted quickly. Okay, so let's get that one in there. This one clicked in there, clicking in, you clicking in, yeah. And that's an N in there. And oh, I didn't want to stick. I think I've got a bit of wax underneath there. N in there. And then we have one there. Click him in there. So that one. So top row and then the second row which is two and then three on the third row one two three let's click those i know they're done then we have this one in here and this one in here perhaps i'll do it row by row just to avoid any confusion okay then, so yeah, if you have done any conversions, um, if you've got any hints or tips to share with me, then feel free to drop those in the comments down below. Any help, um, any help I can get is absolutely appreciated. 
um, because yeah, I'm I'm new on the diamond painting scene anyway, um, and so um, I've got to grips with that. Um, but um, I like to go. I like to go full steam ahead. I don't do anything by halves, and so this is how I've ended up after starting diamond painting a couple of months ago, now doing a custom already because I'm a bit crazy like that. Okay, so that's those. I said I'll do it row by row and I've just completely ignored myself. So that one goes there. That one goes there. Um, that one goes there. And that one goes there. And this looks like absolutely nothing right now. Um, so I'm hoping the more I do, the clearer it will become. So we've got that one in there. And we have one and two down there. Okay, so... Tick those. So if I've done it correctly, it should leave me with the dots, which I think are in this case. Uh, where's the circle? That one. So I just want to check that I got the right, um, that I got the right uh, squares left so <clears throat> we have a one in there and a one in there go and click down that's it then we have that one so one two three and then we have a little right angle in that bit which is correct and then we have a one diagonally down and then we should have two next to it. I think I'm pushing really hard on these drills because I'm my wax is already um, running out and I just re-waxed it. So we should have one over here. Let's move it out of the way because it's probably giving you much of a shadow. Um, here we go. So one over here, so that was that one and that one. And then we should have one on the edge here. One down the bottom here. One here. One here. One here. <gasps> I actually did it right, I think. Look at that. So that's all ticked. Woohoo! So currently I have laid 100 drills and I've done 0.19% of my, my custom. I'm going to do the next square. So actually, whilst I've got these out, I might as well do these um, dots and carry on. So I'm just going to move, let's move the case out of the way. Um, if I pop some, pop some cover paper over that end, and then perhaps I can move the case around. Um, I just don't want you to have to see the glare on the iPad, and I don't have, um. I don't have the uh, I don't have my stand for it yet. I've I've ordered a case that converts it to a stand as well, but um I've got my little Jack got my little Jack Skellington stand here, look. Um so I think I might just rest it on there. You're not going to be able to see it, but um not everybody watches the video anyway, do they? It's quite often you kind of just listen listen along to whatever um 
whatever's being discussed. So we have one, two, three up and then one across. And then also it means that if I don't show you the iPad, uh, the tablet, one, two, three, four and then one up. Um, who knows if I go wrong, right? No one can tell me I've put a drill in the wrong place. So I'm going to tick. I'm going to tick those two off. Um, so those ones are done. And then we'll move on. So I have, oh, I've got those left arrows again. So let's do those. So I'm doing a little left triangles. So we skip one. We have one there. And we have one there and one there and then we go one up. Does anyone talk to themselves whilst they're diamond painting? This takes a little more concentration than um, than a normal diamond painting for sure to make sure. Oh, that's my dog. Destroying things in the living room. So from this one, I need to skip two and then it'll be that one and that one. I literally cannot wait to see this come together. So I think I might be maybe a little obsessed with it this month for sure. I want to get it done this month. So there's no requirement in the... Um, there's no requirement in the event to actually finish a painting, but I think I'll be putting the pressure on myself to get it done. So I've parked um, all other um, projects for now. I have got my Diamond Art Club um, whispered word Lenore on the go that's on the dining room table because it's 70 by 87 so it's quite a big one so I've I've not done that one um, it's fine being out on the dining room table we don't sit at the dining room table to eat anymore we used to when um when we bought this house because in our in our last house we just had a um we had like a, a kitchen that was big enough for like a small dining room table and we never really ate in there unless we had people round we never really ate in there because um it was just quite small so we'd always eat with food on our laps and then when we bought this house um because I had a dining room. Um, I was insistent that we actually sit at the dining room table and eat. And we did for quite a while. And then we got lazy. Um, and so we started sitting in front of the started sitting in front of the TV to eat. I think it's this one. There's quite a lot of like half moons, moon shapes in this painting as well. So we have two of these, one in that top corner and then one there. So yeah, I think I'm gonna have to sort out getting hold of these spare drills um, or some more of the letters that I'm gonna use a lot of. So yeah, these ends look like there's quite a lot of them in the early part of the painting. I'm not sure how many overall. I've got a list. Like I said, I made an inventory of all of the drills that I have and the drills that I need. This might be one. This might be one I need a lot of. So I'm going to have to go and <clears throat> have a little look. Maybe later on today, because what I don't want to do is 
um, I don't want to run out of a colour midway through. So that one goes there, that one goes there. But yeah, this one seems to be using a fair amount of a fair amount of these drills. Okay, so we have one popped in there, and then we have one there. I'm sorry if you can hear the pitter patter of my little doggo's feet. She's having a little, she's having a little wander around, um, and then we have one here and one here. So I've done the top two and that one and those two and i'm really sorry you can't see the um tablet on screen i'm hoping that i'm hoping that when my case arrives that i can get a better angle um to film with that so you can actually see um the process of me using um pattern keeper as well um, I just, I don't think I could have done this on paper. Um, I did print out the paper charts, so I have got them as a backup. Um, but yeah, doing this digitally, where I can just tick the screen um, to mark off the squares that I've done, will definitely help. And in addition to that, um, it will actually mark my, or monitor my progress so every every week um every week i have to send for the event i have to send over a report and a photo of the progress and so this will make this will make it a lot easier for me to do that um because pattern keeper will tell me uh, my progress. Treacle, do you want to go and lie down, pups? She's like, nope, I'm having a little wander around. So yeah, I'm sorry if the the pitter-patter of doggy feet is uh, annoying and distracting. It often is for me when I'm trying to concentrate, especially on something like this, goodness me. Right, I'm trying just to ignore her. She um, looks like she's gonna have a fight with my washing that's just behind me drying right now. Okay, so that one is there. So these two have got to go in here. Surely. And then we have one underneath that. <clears throat> and then we have that one there. And oops, I picked two up. You have that one there and then one above there. So let's mark those ones off. Yeah, this tablet's definitely not as responsive as my iPad. It's um it's frustrating, but um needs must when Pattern Keeper is not available on iOS. So I'm having to make do um with this tablet instead i did purchase it specifically for this um for this but i am looking to do many more um many more custom ones following this i have also purchased from um victoria's moon um and i've purchased three photo conversions so i'm going to be I'm going to be doing a video on um, that to see how that compares to doing my own one. And also I'm hoping that's going to be able for me to top up my spare drills with whatever's left in those diamond paintings. So I've actually ordered three. Um, because they had they had an offer and I think they've still got the offer on as well um, they had an offer of um, 
buy two, buy two, get one free. And that also included customs. So I ordered three in total and they were all photos um, and they have been shipped. So I'm just waiting for waiting for those to arrive. Now, the first ever painting that I did was actually from Victoria's Moon. It was a PR package that I got sent um, because if you're not aware, I am I have another YouTube channel. Um, which is my main one, so Scrappy Nerd UK. It's where I do a lot of my paper craft videos. Um, and they actually sent me a um, they sent me a diamond painting as a PR package. Um, and I thought, well, that'd be interesting. Um, and they sent it to me back in 2020. I know it was ages ago they sent it to me. However, obviously COVID hit, um, and it was not. Um, it wasn't priority in terms of, of getting it started. The problem was with it um, is they said to me, you know, choose whatever one you want, whatever design in whatever size. And I was like, well, I'll go for the biggest because we have a um, we have a Harry Potter themed. One of our guest rooms is Harry Potter themed. Um, and I said to I said to hubby, wouldn't it be really cool to have like a piece of um, like a custom piece of artwork in there that was Harry Potter themed? Um, and the picture, well, it's not Harry Potter, but it's um, very heavily Harry Potter influenced. Um, so I said, oh, I'll have the, um, I'll, I'll go for the 50 by 70, which was the biggest that they did. And um, I'll get it in square drill, not knowing between square and round. I said, oh, I'll get it in square drill. And I had that sat in my craft room I completely forgot about it actually because I put it away um and it was stored um it was stored away so yeah I'd completely forgotten to um to do anything with it and then um I came across it um early this year and I was like oh goodness me I should have done something with that so I um decided to um, actually go ahead and start on it and I was hooked um, I was hooked straight away so I started it and I finished it within a couple of weeks so yeah it was let's zoom you in a little bit more so you can see that canvas so that is the start of my that was the start of my diamond painting journey and I haven't looked back since and I have been absolutely obsessed with um, this process and what's been what's been really good is um, I've not been one two three four one two three four um, I've not been feeling my best recently and um, being able to sit on the sofa and still be able to diamond paint as a distraction has been an absolute godsend so it has massively helped um, being able to do something like this and keep myself busy and distracted. So we're going to go one there. I can feel that I'm really twisting these drills around. So one, two. Come on, tablet. Goodness me, does it not know I have no patience? When it comes to technology right okay so that one there but I'm hoping they'll straighten up as I put the other drills in so miss two and then one in there and then we have one last but one on the end so we'll tick oops we'll tick that that and that and say that's done and then we have this one here two across and there so yeah my um my diamond painting journey kind of started by um having a pr package sent um for review i think that's all of those ones done on that bit oh no i've got one here as well um it was Oh, no, it's not that one. Hmm. Okay. Why not 
I've done that one. I've got a little arrow. Did I do those ones already? I can't remember. Um, yeah, so I had the um, I had the PR package, and then yeah, that kind of started me off on this journey. So what happened after that was I then um, <clears throat> I then thought, well, I need more paintings to um, fulfil my um, my hunger, as it were. So I then went on to Amazon, and I ordered. I ordered some paintings from Amazon and um, I ordered one, I ordered a stitch one um, that arrived and I completed that like within two days, probably less than two days actually. Um, it was done. And then I ordered another from Amazon and again, that one went very quickly. Um, so I needed something that was going to, um, I needed a, a bulk because they were not lasting me. They weren't lasting me that long. So I ordered, um, I ordered from, uh, Shein. Um, I love Shein and I noticed that they had a lot of diamond paintings um, on there so oh goodness me look what I've just done say about double-sided tape actually <sighs> that has just pushed that one right over um, so I ordered a whole load of paintings from Shein um, and that was enough to um, that was enough then to keep me entertained now what's happened since then is I have then ordered um, I ordered a few more from Amazon and then I started um, I started getting interested in the Diamond Art Club ones. And the thing is, I said, oh, I'm not going to order any Diamond Art Club ones until um, unless it's a special occasion, because, you know, they are they are expensive. Um, there's, I'm not going to say it any other way they are expensive and I get that you know you get what you pay for and I completely understand that but um, they are definitely a considered purchase so I said I'm not going to get any Diamond Art Club ones um, until like I'll get them for a special occasion like birthday or Christmas basically get someone else to buy them um, but then um, I saw um I thought, oh, I'll just have a quick look on eBay and see if anybody's selling them. And I'm like, oh, my goodness, they're selling them. So um, I bid. I bid on one um, and it was the um, it was the something in the air, which is the Jack and Sally one, um, because I'm a massive Nightmare Before Christmas fan and <clears throat> I won it and it was 40 pounds. So I thought it was very reasonably priced. Um, and I was happy to part with £40 for it. And then following that, um, I bought another one from a D-Stash group on Facebook. Um, that was £40 as well. Um, and then, um, hang on, what's going on here? Oh, I've done those two already. I just haven't marked them off. Oh, this is what happens. Okay, so I've done those. Um, and then, yeah, then I ordered. They, uh, I had a look on Joanne's and saw that they did Diamond Art Club. And at the time, they had 30% off. Um, plus, they had 25% um, off for new customers so I got 30% off and then a further 25% off so I ended up ordering two more Diamond Art Club kits now I have a wish list on Diamond Art Club's website um, my favourite um, I think is very obvious um, 
and that is well it's not very obvious but it will be probably over time when you when I start picking up more of them uh, but my favourite is uh, Randall Spangler and I know that um, here's a lot of people's favourites as well I just love the dragon ones um, so I've got the illiterate dragon to do um, and that was specifically bought because um, that will be going so in my dining room I have like a um, there's a there we've I've got my bookshelf as well and so I, and I have my reading chair so I wanted a painting a book themed painting to be able to put up in that room and when I saw the illiterate dragon I know there's quite a few Randall Spangler book ones um, when I saw the illiterate dragon I was like I want it I want it so bad so um I saw it on the Diamond Art Club website and I'm like, I cannot justify, I can't justify spending that amount of money on it. Um, but yeah, when I saw that they had it on Joanne's um, with that discount, I was, I just lapped it up, of course. I mean, it was just, it was a no brainer. Okay, so I've got those done and I'm becoming very concerned <laughs> about how many drills I have left for this um this color um because i'm using a lot of them just in these first three squares so one two three one two and then we have so yeah i think what i'm going to have to do is one two three four so it should be two gap yep um i think what i'm going to have to do is pop online and try and get these um, ordered from uh, Smith's Beads sooner rather than later because I really don't want it to stop me from uh, carrying on uh, and finishing this painting. So that was N, that was N, that was N. Okay, so that's all of those done. But yeah, look on, I've got literally... And I only had 200 to start with, but I've probably got less than 30 now. So, eek. Right, then we've got the half circle, which is this one. Again, I've only got 200 left of this. Now, that, I think, was that that one? No, hang on. <clears throat> that looks to be a very similar colour. I've got a random, like, pinky one in here. Where's that from? What would that have been from? Pinky purpley. I don't know. But I'm going to pop it on there. And I'll see if I can find the colour as I come across it. Okay. So, just make sure I've got the right shape. Because I'm super paranoid. Yeah, so I think what I'm going to do is <clears throat> go ahead and just order. One, two, three, four. Order the drills that I know um, are in the top part of this painting um, that I haven't been, um, that I'm not being sent. Um, and the part of the problem is with the, with the drills being sent from those um, lovely ladies, I don't know how many... Um, I don't know how many are being sent, so um, I could sit here and think, well, um, I need a certain amount to finish this painting and I've got some coming. And then when it turns up, it's only a, you know, a small fraction of what I need. So <clears throat> I don't want that to also hinder me. So um, I'm going to wait for I'm going to wait for those drills to arrive uh, where I know that I've got. Um, I think it's not, uh, I think it's 929 and 823, I think I'm being sent and that should, um, that should be enough, um, for me to be able to finish those colours, um, but there were certain colours where people just didn't, they didn't have them, so... Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, I'm stupid because, 
why would I embark on a project like this when I don't have sufficient drills? Like I said, I ordered the Art Dot ones that gave me a pack of 200 of each and I had some spares. <clears throat> but obviously it's going to be hit and miss in terms of the spares that I have um, to to be able to complete the painting. So, you know, you can never guarantee the colours that you need are the colours that you're going to have. So, yeah, it was um, probably a really stupid idea that I um, go jump in with both feet and embark on this and I don't know what I'm doing here I don't know what's happening I just did not want to stick down in there and for some reason my other one's just disappeared which again I could really do without losing any drills you're gonna get stuck in there are you I'll see if it flew across the desk I don't think it did if you spot a random drill anywhere, then um, do let me know because I'd rather like it back. This one does not want to stick down. Let's just give it a little bit of a shimmy over, help it along. Um, okay, so then we go number four. That needs a little bit of a shimmy up. As I said, I'm going to come back with a brayer and just make sure that these are nice and firmly stuck down because, you know, with the best will in the world, this is double-sided tape. Um, so this is not necessarily designed to hold um, little, bits of, little bits of acrylic. Um, in addition to that, um, the acrylic drills quite often have the dip in the bottom um, that can cause problems so I have the little liney one um, that can cause problems with the with it getting enough flat surface to stick down to that adhesive so yeah um, but we'll just have to see so we've got that one there that one there uh, this one in here this one in here, that's pushing those over a little bit, but that's okay. And then we have, oh, that's it. So we should have one, two, three, four left, and I do. And then that one is the, this one, is it? Nope, it is the other way around. It's that left to right. This is what I mean. Some of them are so similar um, to each other that you really have to pay attention to these symbols. So I'm sure it's not, it's definitely not this bad with um, like a diamond art club. Well, actually any canvas that I've done so far, it just seems to be this custom one where the symbols seem so close. Um, they look so similar. I'll give you an example in a sec. I'm just gonna mark all of those off. So that is now three squares complete. So for instance, this is the one that I just picked up. And then this was the symbol that I picked up before. So one is the arrows going left and right, and one is the arrows going up and down. So yeah, it can cause confusion. And then you've also got the same in the ones that are kind of like the empty ones. Um, and then I've got ones like this where there's four of these. So you've got, you've got, a grumpy face and a smiley face but then in addition to that you've got the circle going right and then also there's one with a circle going left so yeah have to play pay not play having to pay close attention um to to that just to make sure that i'm picking out the right drill okay i'm going to come down and do uh this uh box down here so the challenge is to complete um, th uh, th six squares a day so I've done three of them and I'm now going to come down and do these ones I think so because I really want to try and avoid n um, if I can because I don't have a lot of those drills so I think if I carried on going right 
um, then I would definitely run out of those drills. So I'm gonna <clears throat> I'm gonna play this tactically um, to make sure that um, to make sure I get those drills before I move over into that area where there's more of those ends. Okay, so this one is there and so then we have miss one and then two here so what's going to happen is um this is going to be the four canvases in total um so i'm going to have to then attach them together but then they're going to be going into a frame so i'm not too concerned about um how it's going to survive because it is going to live in a frame so i was also contemplating the idea of buying the canvas sheets as well the printable canvas sheets um and that may happen uh that may happen in the future but i thought for now for me to get through um the early stages of this process um i can do this on I can do this on card um, and then look in the future at what other options I have. I can print my own canvases. In addition to that, um, I was just a bit concerned about how the adhesive would stay on a canvas over time um, because obviously canvases are textured and um, so may cause problems with getting that double-sided adhesive down um, on it whereas this it's nice and flat so it shouldn't be um, it shouldn't be an issue I don't have an issue using um, double-sided adhesive in my everyday crafting life anyway so I need definitely need a few more of these Okay, I've actually got some ends in here as well. I didn't actually notice that so much, but fingers crossed I've got enough to I've got enough to do this. Okay, so I've got one of them down there. And then I miss one and then I go two of them. And then I miss two, one, two, and then one goes there. That's right. And then we have one above and one there and one there and then one there okay so come on this i oh, i keep calling it an ipad you know what i mean this tablet is definitely not as responsive as <clears throat> As I would like but I might try and get a stylus that might that might help okay so we've got one there and miss one and then one there and then miss one and then we have two like that and then miss one and then we have another two I'm just trying to find my feet with this um, and see whether doing it row by row um, is best because I've just been kind of doing it a bit kind of willy-nilly. Love that word. Um, and not really um, focusing on kind of one particular row but it does make it a little easier with marking them off if I do it in um, a row instead. So I have, um, oh, this is where it's going to get confusing. Okay, so I've got this bit here, that's an N. So that's going to be an N and then I've got that one. And I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So one two three so i should be going up to there one two three four 
five, six. Okay, so that was six along there, and then it's one, two, three in, and then one up. So let's mark those off like that. And then we have one here, and then, um, Oh, now I'm confused. Okay, so this is the one I've just done. So I want to go one, two. Yeah, so I'll be interested to know. Um, I did start saying this before and then I got a bit sidetracked. Um, if you've done a custom one before, how have you... How have you done it? So was it a... Um, was it a heaven and earth design conversion? I think that is the spare drill from this. Um, was it a heaven and earth design conversion? Um, or was it uh, was it something else? Have you ever done this before where you converted a photo um, and <clears throat> created a diamond painting from it? Let me know. Let me know. Right, these are number... I say number one, they're not. Because it's the there's a number one on the pot. These are the circle ones. So this is another one by the looks of oh no, actually, just looking at um there's quite a lot in this section, but actually looking at um further out, I think we're okay. I wanted to mark the pots with the ones where I've got enough so I can um, know which ones I still need, but I have got it on a spreadsheet. Okay, so we want this one. Now that's my other doggo moving around. Thought we'd have a nice sleepy afternoon, but unfortunately not. Um, okay, it's because neither of us are in there with them. I just wanted to see what we're up to. Okay, let's twist that one around a bit. So I've put two down there and that one there and the one next to it. See, I just seem to be going a bit um, all over the place again with this, but it's it seems a little easier um, as you work through. So I've only got three symbols left on this now. So, um, and you start to notice shapes. So I just noticed a right angle on the pattern there and I'm like, okay, I know where that one goes then. Um, yeah, so let me know about your customs and if you haven't done one, um, whether it's something that would interest you, um, clear that, whether it's something it would interest you um, in the future. I'm hoping to do I'm hoping to do quite a few more of these, um, to be honest. I quite enjoy this, but definitely I need to be more prepared with drills. Um, I'm also looking at doing a custom with rounds. Now, I know that that, uh, that comes with its own challenges because obviously... The background is going to be white showing through, um, but I want a way to be able to use up um, my round drills because I have a lot. I've done a couple of, I've done a couple of mini, mini ones um, where I have printed, um, I printed a round grid, a grid with rounds on. Um, to be able to do it and then just use a cross stitch a mini a mini mini cross stitch pattern um, and use my rounds for that and that worked out really well and yes you have got the white from the background showing through but do you know what oh well it you know there's worse things in life um, so yeah ideally um, a square would would be better because obviously you're filling in all of those gaps but 
Um, I need to show some love to my spare rounds, which I have tons of because not tons. I'm going to take that back. I don't mean tons, but I have far more round spares um, than I do in um, than I do in squares. So I need definitely to find a project that's going to make a bit of a dent in those. OK, so that's those done. And then I'm going to go for my little, um, is it that one? My little left, left corner triangle. Does anybody else make up random names for their, um, for their symbols? Because I found myself doing that as I went along. So um, there was one, actually it's, uh, it's here. This is the Wi-Fi symbol. So that's how I remember it. I remember where it is now. Um, okay, so we have N, N, N. That's got to go in there. That's got to go in there. And then we have N, 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 N. Okay. That's what I mean about the N's. I don't have enough. Right, so that can go back in and then we'll grab the ends again. Ooh. Whoa. This is all I have. So I'm going to avoid. Actually, I won't even have enough to do this next square with these, I don't think. Um, oh, I don't know what to do. N, N, N. I've got a bit of a pink one in there. That's one of the ones that I've just had. What the hell? Okay, let me pop that one on. Let me pop that one on there. And then I shall pop that back in the box when I have those back out again. Um, yeah, I don't think I've got enough of this to even finish this next square. So I might have to make a decision about moving on to another square instead, which is going to be a pain because I kind of want to do it all together. But um, what I mean, what else can I do? I didn't realise I was going to use up so many of these so quickly so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight twenty nine thirty thirty one thirty two thirty three thirty four one two this is i mean this is dire three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Oh, I've got enough to do this square. Okay, <clears throat> we're going for it. Just going to go for it. So, miss two and then we want to go one in. But definitely I cannot do this square next to it because <clears throat> I definitely won't have enough to do that one. So, as soon as I finish filming this video... I will get on to the Smith Speeds website and I will get this colour, um, get this colour ordered because I cannot have it impeding me. <clears throat> and I also hope that the colour that turns up matches this colour because then if it doesn't, I've got even more problems. Okay, so, and then miss two, and then I put that one in there. Okay, so that's the top three. No, I don't want those two. I'm going to zoom in. I wonder whether it's my fat fingers. Okay, let me clear that. Let's zoom in just to this square. Okay. And then let's mark those two, those two, those two, that one, those two and that one and then tick okay i've just got one box showing now just to try and see if that helps okay moving on so we're going to get down to this one and then we're going to go across to here and then we're going to go down to here and i hope my i hope i added them upright because <coughs> I've got to finish this square. I cannot leave it half finished. So that one. 
that one. Oh, and then that one. So what did I just do? I have no idea. Um, did I do those two? I don't even know. Yes, I've done those two. That one. Those two. Those two and that one. Okay. So from that, from that, I've then got one there and one there. This definitely requires more brain power than um, than any diamond painting that I've done previously. Okay, that one, that one, and that one. Good. And then over here, so from this one, miss two, and then there'll be one there. One, oh, one underneath. Oh, oh no, I'm making it move. Oh no. Yeah, so there's a little bit of wiggle room on this um, adhesive. Okay, so one, two, three, and then we go one, one further down there. Give them a little wiggle. Have no more drills left, so I can't add any more into the tray. Um, so we go one, two. Ah! Three. And then one. Oh no, I've still got three more to go. Oh, I'm getting excited. Then we've got one. Two, and then one more. So that should be all of the ends on that square done. Done that one, that one, three down, one at the bottom, and then that right angle. Okay, cool. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of those drills left. Looking at the next square, I think I need one, two, three, four, five. I need six just in one, the first row. So, yeah, I'm going to have to go and get, um, order some more. Right, anyway. So now I'm going to do the funky left pointed triangle. And those are going to go in the top left. And then we're going to have, so third row down. So those are going to come in here. And then we have to there so this one comes into this corner so let's tick those ones off and that one okay and then we have this one so we have the right angle here so that one goes just underneath there and then we have oh goodness me so we have that drill placed. So this one goes, miss that one. I hate it when it's just like randomly in the middle. Okay, I think that's all of those ones done. And we've got two more for this section. We're back to the full moon. I don't call it a dot because the other ones are like half moon, three quarter moon. Right, so... Um, what did I say? This was the moon one. So we're going to go one in there. One in there. I haven't even shown you a picture of what this is going to be yet. I have shown it on other videos, which I'm not sure whether are up or not. Um, but this will be like a mystery painting for um, viewers. You won't know what it is just yet. So that's those done. Should make you guess. You can guess what I'm making. Um, okay, so those have got to go there. So this one goes in here. And then his little friend goes underneath. And then his other little friend goes there. So that goes around there like that. Okay, and then we have 
two in here like that and then we have a square here so this one goes the bottom right and then we have two here so that one goes there and then we have that one goes in there and then we have one two three and that one goes nope no ah i just made one ping off come on play nicely there we go so that's all of those and then we are back to the left arrow and this is another one that seems to be um using up quite a few drills but i had some spares of these um in addition to the 200 that i got from art dot so um at least i have a few more of these to keep me going right one two three four actually that one needs completing as well so four in there so two and four and then one in there i mean i'm checking this off this is the last color from this square and i'm checking it off to make sure that i'm adding the drills in the right places but to be honest i ain't gonna go back if i've if i've done something wrong i am i'm not going back so it doesn't make any difference so i'm probably just gonna lay these drills and be done with it there we go there's five and we have one up in here one here come on one there then we have three in there one two three four so i must admit obviously i've not this is my first uh my first one uh doing it this way i mean it's my first custom one anyway but i was a bit concerned about you know how this grid how this grid would work because obviously it is just one that I've created and printed uh, from the internet, from Tinternet. But actually, the drills all seem to be sitting in really nicely together without any problems. I'm getting a little bit of popping every now and then. And that will just be down to me um, not laying the drills straight. But um once it pops up just move it over a little bit give it a little bit more room um and we're good we are good okay so that is another square complete so i think i'm going to end the video here purely because i can't do any more ends so stay tuned for some more videos um hopefully to do some more whip and chats um for this painting let me know in the comments section down below if you've got any questions or queries or anything like that for me um i get that i'm new on the scene so um if you have any burning questions that you want to ask me then feel free to drop those in the comment section down below and i will thank you for joining me first of all um it's been a pleasure thanks for keeping me company and um if you've enjoyed this whip and chat and you want to see more whip and chats from me then give this video a thumbs up um do make sure you subscribe if you are new to my channel um hit the bell notification so you will be um pinged a message to let you know when i next upload um and i'll see you all again next time bye <laughs>